Hi guys, this is Val from Val K Inc. Welcome back to my channel. Today I just woke up and I am in the mood to talk about some discotheque releases that came over and I'm really excited. This is just a little sampling of what I've been picking up over the past few months. First up, it feels appropriate to be starting these hauls off with a little bit of Lupin, but I did finally get my copy of Lupin Prison of the Past. This is a Lupin special that's actually been out on Amazon for a while. I just haven't had a chance to watch it. I am way more likely to watch something if I actually own it, so here it is in my hands. I actually like this cover. I think this art's cool. Which is great, because it seems to be the only key art that they got. Sometimes it's pretty limited, as they've mentioned in previous discotheque releases. Here is the reverse art. Just thought I'd show you guys the full poster. It's crazy how basically this is the outfit that Lupin's wearing in part six that <laughs> Gigon has in this special. Uh, very funny to me. I like to think they share clothes, whatever. Uh, this is, let's see, let me get this closed up from 2019. Yeah, this came around, this came out around the same time as, I want to say, um, whichever one the betrayal one was called. I don't know. I'll put it in text on the screen. But uh, yeah, I finally, finally can watch this. I need to start watching all of my Lupin because again, I have a huge haul video coming at the end of the year. And I think I might start off that process with this one. A used pickup, which is pretty unusual for me, I usually always order or pre-order my discotheque, but I had a friend that was clearing out some of his collection. He asked if I wanted this. I'm never going to say no to Cyborg 009. So yes, this is the standard definition version of Cyborg 009, the complete series. I'm actually really happy I have this because I was about to start the process of looking for the old DVDs just because I really wanted to rewatch this. And now I have the Blu-ray. This is a great release. I don't know what the slipcover looks like just because he doesn't have his. I don't know what happened to the slipcover for this one. But oh man, look at that art. Uh, again, I really enjoy Cyborg 009. I actually watched this when it was airing on Cartoon Network, like 2001-ish, I want to say. So yeah, I really want to sit down and rewatch all of it, especially since I just finished up Android Kikaider earlier this year really on an Ishinomori kick. So this is cool. It has clean opening, ending, and an art gallery. I always like when there's extra features on these. But yeah, Cyborg 009. There was also a really good sale price for this um, earlier this year on Discotheque. Definitely one I would pick up if you want Cyborg 009. I hope it's selling well. I really don't know. I'd love to hear how it's doing. Next up is a film that I've always wanted to watch. This, of course, is Fuse, Memoirs of the Hunter Girl. Here's this beautiful, beautiful cover. I love this art style. Here's the side. And this is one of their limited releases. So they have changed the limited releases sticker. They've moved to a back sticker, which I think looks a lot better. I really like this change. Um, Again, I'm indifferent to knowing like my limited edition number, but some people really, really love it, so I think it's good that they're providing that information. I have 1,192 out of 1,500, so I'm happy to see that people went out of their way to pre-order this one. Here is the inside art. Like I said, I haven't seen this one myself, but a number of people have mentioned to me that like this is worth watching at least once. And since it was a limited run, I knew I'd feel bad if I didn't pick it up. God, this art is beautiful. I just want to show you guys this gorgeous background art. I really, really love when we get a reverse cover like this. Ah, oh, that's just... I was sorry, I was just admiring it for a second, but I really enjoy it. So, let me put that back. One of these nights, I'll sit down and watch that. So let me get this back together. I love these kind of like period piece inspired ones too. So I know, I know I'm in for a good time watching this. Speaking of films, though, I wanted to go ahead and bring back something that I watched recently. This is Blackjack the Movie. As you guys know, in a previous haul, I picked up this on, I think, the Discotheque Day sale. And sometimes in these haul videos, I like to go back and show you guys what I have watched out of previous hauls. So I finally sat down and watched Blackjack the Movie. As I said, I watched this completely blind. And can I just say, this film is incredible. 
I love the way it's animated. This is uh, Dazaki at his best. I mean, uh, look how cute Pinoco is. Um, this is, of course, pinnacle medical drama stuff. You look to Blackjack. And if anything reaffirms my love for this character, it was this movie. Uh, it's one of those really slow burn movies, but I like that. I like when it really builds up to like this really climactic ending. And along the way, the animation in this is so beautiful. Even really still and quiet scenes have so much detail and so much beautiful use of color and lighting. Uh, I just, I really enjoyed this. The operations in this are so tense and that's how it should be. It should feel like, oh my God, you're on a razor's edge. Um, for me in particular, I'm always a little kind of creeped out by medical things. I don't have extensive medical knowledge, so I, it's really out of my element and I'm always a little bit like, I don't know what it is. For some reason, it's always um, more startling to me than like generic gory violence. I, I don't know why, but uh, this is a great balance of like showing how intense those moments are uh, alongside being watchable. <laughs> So I, I really want to talk more in depth on these movies that I've been watching, especially anime films and different anime series that I'm going back to. Would you guys be interested in little short videos just on one topic in particular? Uh, I would love to do that on this movie. Anyway, Blackjack the movie. God, I hope we get the OVAs next. That would be pretty lovely if we could. Back to more releases, as I had stated earlier, I think either at the end of last year or earlier this year, I got, whoops, Project Aiko. And now I can show you guys Project Aiko 2, plot of the Daitokuji Financial Group. I love their new outfits, like, <laughs> let me show you guys just Biko, Aiko, Siko's outfits. They're so cute. Um, I still haven't watched this yet. I only just got it, I don't know, recently? just in the mail. But yeah, this is just more Project Echo. A lot, a lot of people are ex excited. I think they've already announced uh, Echo 3. Gosh, I'm so <laughs> busy with other stuff in my life. I, uh, I haven't been keeping very good track, but I will pick up Echo 3. Again, I just love the way these covers look. They're just so bright and cheery and feel in spirit without looking off. Uh, really, really love the work on these. Uh, Discotech really did do the time and put in the effort, so very, very appreciated. Uh, I look forward to watching these together. I'm, I'm excited. Next up, quite the hot button topic, this is the J9 series. So, of course, you guys see Saucy Rigers hanging out with us today. Hi, buddy. I've had this figure for a long time because, again, I really like Saucy Riger. Uh, however, my ignorance was that I didn't know it was part of the J9 trilogy, just because I really didn't know anything about the first two. So when, just to wrap things up about collecting, when Sasu Riger was announced, I was like, oh, that's, that's the one I want, that's the one I remember, you know, I enjoy this one, uh, I'll talk about it more in a second. But then once this got announced, that made me go, I, I guess I do want the rest of the trilogy. I'm going to I'm gonna order those alongside it. I had a coupon I needed to use. So I got all of these for a very, very good price. Uh, fast forwarding a little bit, it was announced on Discotech's tweets that these would be going out of print quickly. So I'm happy that I got mine when I did. I hope everyone else that wanted their copies got them. But uh, yeah, I feel a little bad that I'm like, hey, I just happen to have those on my shelf and everyone else was kind of scrambling. But that's besides the point. That's just part of collecting. Uh, that's why it's good to be on Twitter and just kind of see what's happening with certain groups that are putting out anime. So this is Galaxy Cyclone Brygar. I'll show you guys this great cover. I really like this concept behind the J9 series. All of these three series and what was going to be a fourth that ended up getting canceled. They're all based on um, types of, not IP, but general tropes and ideas that had happened before. So for example, this Brygar show is basically, what if TV samurai dramas were in space? That's essentially what this is, like the whole Ronin protecting a town. This is the J9 team protecting these like colonial territories out in space. Here is the inside art. 
I love the way this looks. I didn't expect to like uh, this set as much as I do. I'm really into this like space Goemon. <laughs> I think that's a great design. She's so cute as well. Uh, yes, the opening for this show is so good. Oh, I'm really, I'm really excited to start this. Uh, originally I was going to start with Sasu Raigar, but I'm going to start with this and go in order. And basically the reason this is a trilogy is because what happens at the end of one series kind of leads into the start of the next. So this is Brygar. This is the first one that's set in the year 2111, I want to say. And it's kind of based on like samurai TV drama, as I said. So that is Brygar. And oh my gosh, this case is tight. I love the way this looks. I really like this kind of like sketchy cover. I am not really crazy about this mech design, but I might change my mind once I start watching the series and I see how it looks animated, you know? Sometimes that kind of changes things for me. Next, it's a uh, Galactic Gale Bazinga. And this cover, this art style, this like watercolor art style is so gorgeous to me. I mean, look at this. I absolutely love it. I love her design. She looks great. Uh, let's look at the inner art, and it's kind of cool because these came out, you know, uh, a couple years apart, I want to say, that you can kind of see, like, how certain styles in anime were changing at the time, and just how these are presented. Uh, this one, of course, is based more on the Shinsengumi, and that's, like, samurai protecting, like, a royal, like, a, uh, shogun or something. A little bit different than, like, being out in, like, ronin-type territories. So this one should look a little bit more classy. This art is killer. Can I just show you guys for a second how good this looks? <laughs> I can't get over it. I want to do fan art for these shows so, so bad. Uh, I just feel bad when I post fan art and two people are like, hey, that's a thing. But yeah, I really want to draw and paint maybe just privately for myself. Here is the disc art. Again, another just better looking robot to me, personally. Uh, I really like this kind of, it kind of has Shogun armor, it looks like. Very cool, very cool. I look forward to it. I think this name is great. Galactic Gale will always sound good to me. So that is Bazinga. That's number two. And when does this take place? 600 years ago. So this is like 2,700, I think, something like that this takes place. Yeah. So that can hang out there. And of course, the star of the show, Sasurai Gar. Here it is. Look at this art. I love the way the Sasurai Gar looks. That's that's why I have this. Like I just, I love its blocky, chunky design. I love that it's a train that goes through space. Okay, so clearly that's the start to this. This is based on um, Around the World in 80 Days. However, this is Around the Solar System in 365 Days. Also, it's a train going through space, similar to my favorite anime, Galaxy Express 39. That's why I looked this up way back when in the day. Here is the art on this one. Gorgeous. Gorgeous. Again, I really like the way these releases look. They're so simple, but I like them. And here we see another change. We see more cleaned up art. Oh my god, it's beat. <laughs> and Birdie. Look at Birdie. Anyway, I'm all over the place because I'm having a good time. This is Sasuriger. This is Galactic Whirlwind Sasuriger. And like I said, this was, I think, 1983. This is basically around the world in 80 days, but it's also on a bet similar, of course, but uh, they also have to fight off the mafia that's trying to throw them off their course. I love Around the World in 80 Days, so the fact that there's like an anime mech 80s version of it is why I like this one so much. Um, I don't think I ever saw all the episodes, because I had no idea it was so many episodes. This one is 43 episodes, and of course these are all in standard definition. They look fine. <laughs> I did pop them all in just to like see. They look fine. They're not like exceptional, but they're also just beautiful in their own way. So I, I kind of, I'm fine with it. There's not there's nothing I would change really, and it's kind of nice to uh, have them all on the uh, shelf together because they all 
have the J9 on top, which is nice. I don't know why the logos don't quite match up. <laughs> they're so they're so close. <laughs> but I'm just happy I have them. They're kind of the big thing of this haul. I just wanted to talk about them for a second. And as someone who says I don't collect that much mech, I mean, clearly I, I, I enjoy it. I love giant robots and I love good stories the same way I love magical girls and I love good stories and that's why anime is such a great place to enjoy those types of stories. So here is basically everything out of this little mini haul. I hope you guys enjoyed seeing all of this. Um, can't stress enough how much I've been enjoying the releases from Discotech lately. Uh, thank you Discotech for, you know, putting this stuff out. They don't watch this. I don't know why I always say that. <laughs> And again, if you like Blackjack, medical drama, um, Osama Tezaki as a director, check out Blackjack the movie. Anyway, that is it for this one. I just want to say hi to all my subscribers. You guys rock, and I will see you guys in the next video. Bye, guys.